Hi there guys, Ardia here for GTA Esports. Today I want to talk about a topic that uh, has been brought up a lot in my stream and I want to just give my opinion on it. I think Hearthstone would be a much better game if every single time we get an expansion we would also get a rotation. So basically when Witchwood came out they would have rotated out on Goro, when um, Boomsday came out they would have rotated out uh, the Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion and now when Rastakhan comes out they would have rotated out uh, um, How's it called? Cobbles and Catacombs. I wanted to say Goblins versus Gnomes for some, for some reason. But yeah. Um, I just feel like the game feels the best when we have uh, the amount of cards that we have when a rotation happens. And it always it also feels the freshest. We have the most amount of playable decks. If you look back, I think um, when Whispers of the Old Gods was um, implemented, when uh, Angora was implemented, or when Witchwood was implemented, we just had the most variety in playable decks. And with the expansions that they added upon those uh, core cards, they just made some of the decks better, and some of the decks didn't get anything. And then the decks that got better saw play, the decks that didn't get more just didn't see more play. So you just have the same decks being played but less of them and almost no new decks coming out it's weird but i feel like that's just how it's going to be if you're gonna like release cards without rotating out cards so it might sound weird but i just feel like the solution is to ju just rotate out cards every single time you do an expansion People have complained when I proposed this idea on my stream that the game is going to be more expensive, but if you look at it from a mathematical point of view, it might even be cheaper. Uh, let me talk about that. So, there will just be the same amount of cards. You don't have to buy any extra cards. Um, I'm not asking for five expansions per year. I'm asking for the same three expansions per year. It's just that when an expansion gets released, it stays in the game for uh, free sets like expansion gets released second expansion gets released third expansion gets, re gets released and when the fourth gets released the first gets rotated so we always have the three expansions in the game and i think that's a very good number because it creates a nice atmosphere and no deck stays in the game for like too much time um also because the the cards last one year instead of like roughly two you are able to disenchant your cards um, sooner and by being able to disenchant your cards sooner you're gonna have more dust to be able to spend also by, um, by the way the difference between uh, now and what I'm proposing is not that big because only expansions like Angoro or Witchwood stay in the game for two years expansions that are the third in the installment like what we're gonna have now with Rastakhan or uh, Kobolds don't and they just got it out uh, at the same time as Angoro so that's a pretty weird system like Cobalt stays in the game for exactly what I would want every expansion to stay in the game and Angoro just stays six extra months or whatever that is and I don't know if that's necessarily good like do you want to play Primordial Glyph for two, two straight up years or do you want to play it for one year disenchant it if you're only a standard player and then just uh, use the money or the dust whatever to craft or maybe you already have from the packs a card that right now doesn't see play but might see play if glyph wouldn't be a thing i don't know i'm just arguing that you don't have to spend extra like maybe there will be a higher percentage of playable cards each expansion but isn't that something that we want do we want to get some powerful cards in one expansion and then just hold on to them and play them for like two straight up years that's just getting boring, like look at Death Knights, they've been in the game for like too much time. Some people obviously want Death Knights to be classic because they just have so much fun and uh, repeat value playing them, but people like me that play the game for like uh, hours every single day kind of got bored of like Death Knights all over. And again, I don't think Blizzard should cater necessarily to players like me, but I feel like most people in the community would like um, a system where we get a rotation every single time an expansion comes out just because it might even be cheaper since you have more dust to spend if you're only a standard player yes you have to disenchant your cards quite often but let's be real one year is still like a big period of time we don't know how many of us are going to still play the game in one year 
I mean, I probably will, but a lot of you, do you know if you're going to play for like the next five years or so? Do you really need the cards to be in the game for two years or do you want to just have the most fun right now? And one year can give you more fun out of your cards if every single card lasts one year. If you have some cards right now that last some of them two years and some of them one year, obviously the two year one is going to be like more valuable, but that doesn't have to be the case. Anyways, I just felt like talking about this subject and I just want to pitch it to you guys. Um, maybe there is some flaw in my logic, maybe I missed on something. Uh, I think there's a possibility of that uh, happening, but it's just an, a cool idea. And also what I observed during my years of playing Hearthstone, just basically not only having a lot of fun when an expansion comes out, but having tons of fun when an expansion with a, lot, with a rotation comes out at the same time. That's been the most uh, fun period for me in Hearthstone, just because a lot of the actual decks become unplayable and then it creates just like a new meta instead of just adding to the meta game. Because it's very hard for them to release cards that straight up from the ground create new decks that, they, that can compete with the already good decks. It's very hard to do that. They need to create a lot of cards for doing that. And it's much easier to take out some cards that uh, help the good decks be good and then uh, let people figure out what's the newer good decks. And um, that creates a better environment for deck builders too. Instead of just uh, letting people figure out, oh, I'll take Electra and put it in my Shadow Rock Shaman, make it better. I'll take Flobidinus Floop, put it in my Maligos Druid, make it better. Wow. And uh, that's Boomsday. Imagine how it would have been if, I don't know, Cube rotated out or plenty of other examples. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, I hope, I hope you have a fantastic day and don't forget to comment with uh, your opinion because I'm really curious and uh, I want to get this subject like discussed about because I think it can make Hearthstone just a fantastic game and I want that because I love Hearthstone. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.